I wish I could be like my theme song. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalia. I hope that you, by the end of this video, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, join the fam. The fam bam here. We need a name. We need a name, like all of us. So comment down below if you have any ideas because I have none, to be honest with you. It is getting closer and closer to my favorite time of the year, the holidays. I think every Latino has a special place in their heart for the holidays, just because we know what that means. You know, lots of food, lots of drinking, lots of family, lots of fun. And hopefully that you get to enjoy that with the people closest to you, your family, your friends, whoever. In today's video, I wanted to discuss how we prepare for these big occasions because it's a big deal. Like, the holidays are a big deal. You got Thanksgiving if you're here in America, you got Christmas, you got New Year's, and then you got Three Kings Day. So they, it's like non-stop, like every three, four weeks. And you know, between Christmas and New Year's, one week, like you really need to have it down pat, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get ready for the holidays, Boricua style. So step number one, you need to think about who you invite. You, you you have to know, put together a guest list because even though this is in your house, you still need to know who is going to be there. So I've come up with a simple calculation for you to figure out how many people you should be inviting to your holiday party. Let's start by, for example, you live in New York City in a New York City sized apartment, which are relatively small and expensive as so just figure out how many people more or less you can invite into your apartment and double that. Pretty simple, right? You want to double it because you want to make sure that you don't leave anybody out. You don't want Titi Malta feeling upset because she didn't get an invite to Thanksgiving or Christmas even though you haven't seen her since you were five. You need to extend the invite to any and everyone because this is the holidays. I mean, we have room, we have time for everyone. And even if your apartment is small, don't worry. You can make room. You can sit somebody on top of the gaveta or the bureau. You can sit somebody on top of the nevera, you know? That, not seriously, don't, don't sit anybody up there because that's a little weird, but you get what I mean. Number two, we have the food. You need to plan out specifically what you're gonna make. And every year, we go through this. Like we think about what we're gonna add when we know that we cook the same damn thing every year. You got your arroz con gandules, pernil, pasteles, there's pavo, there's turkey, hello, gabo gabo, like you have to have turkey on Thanksgiving, I'm sorry. I don't eat much turkey on Thanksgiving, but if there's not even a little bit for me to pick at, then it's a problem. We got lasagna, which, you know, we make Puerto Rican style. I know lasagna is traditionally Italian, but lasagna is a staple in my holiday dinner. I don't know about you guys, but all my family is the same way. We got lasagna, we got potato salad, some variation of some sort of salad. So sometimes you can substitute the potato salad for macaroni salad, but you have to know how to make the macaroni salad. Like sometimes I get tuna in my macaroni salad. And I don't want tuna in my macaroni salad. After the food, you have to think about dessert. Now, not everyone is into every traditional dessert. Like for example, I hate flan. I don't know if I've said that before here on my channel, I probably have, but I don't like flan. So if you only have flan, I'm a little mad. You gotta have something to cater to everyone, okay? Like bake a cake. You could bake like a, one of those Pillsbury cakes and then have your flan or have your tembleque or have, you know, your arroz con dulce, or some something, something. But something other than just a flan, people, because we don't all like flan. Number three, of course, the drinking. Now, even if you don't drink that much, that's okay. There's something for everyone, again. You have to have your Bacardi. If you're Puerto Rican, Bacardi's a must. You know, you show up to my mom's house with a bottle of Bacardi, and she'll be very happy you came. You also need that Coquito, because, hello, Coquito is a must-have in any Puerto Rican holiday party. I probably said that many times here on the channel. So you need to figure out who's gonna make the coquito. If you wanna experiment making coquito, this is your <laughs> If you wanna experiment making the coquito for the first time, I suggest that you do it beforehand. 
get a knick for it, a knack for it. Like you really want to make sure that it's filled with all the love and the best flavors possible by Christmas. Okay, so you have a lot of time between now and Christmas to start practicing your coquito. And if you guys want to see a video on how to make coquito on my channel, let me know. Comment down below. Number four has got to be my favorite, the music. Again, bringing it back to the central theme of this video, having something for everybody, okay? This generation and our parents' generation and our grandparents' generation are very different. While I'm here bumping to Anuel, okay, saying everything nasty that he's gonna do to me and that I don't wanna let him do to me. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. While I'm doing that, okay, my grandma doesn't wanna hear all that. She doesn't wanna hear all the nasty curse words or all of the, you know, extracurricular activities that they're taking part in. She may want something a little bit more traditional. Try a bolero. Try maybe even bomba y plena, which I hear a lot of you guys really like, which I will put together a video about bomba y plena. Stay tuned. You know, maybe something a little bit more simple like that. While my mom's generation and my aunts and everyone loves salsa. I love salsa. I grew up with salsa. So you want to make sure that if you're throwing a Puerto Rican holiday party, that you have something for everyone. You can have for the older folks, you can have for your parents, and then you have for yourself, your Anuel, your Bad Bunny, your Asuna, you know, you got it. And I've put together more than enough playlists to help you guys figure out what music y'all should be playing. So don't even ask, because it's here. Another thing that you wanna do on the invite is make sure, this should be known, this, this should be like number one 101 rule for anybody anybody going anywhere not just latin people but you want to make sure that on the invite that you let people know to bring stuff to the party okay they can't just depend that everything will be on me so bring a bottle of wine bring a, a tray of food bring at the freaking chips and, and, and a soda. Bring something okay so in the invite you want to let people know that all of that will be greatly appreciated. What you really mean is, you better bring something or your ass isn't invited. Number five, which is possibly the most important tip for you to remember when you're inviting everyone to your house, is be ready for everyone to criticize everything that you just spent all the time doing. This is just what Latin people do, okay? We like to gossip, we like to talk crap, and most people will say it to you, and you know, in just a very nice, passive aggressive kind of way, so don't get offended. Know that you worked your butt off, know that you thought everything out, but you still can't please everyone, and, and, your crazy Uncle Jose will still have a problem with the rice being a little too salty or the meat being a little too well done or whatever. But you can't please everyone, but don't be mad about it because it happens every single time. And on top of that, be prepared for conversations to come out about the family past or whatever drama is going on right now. All of that is gonna come into play. But after all of that, I swear, I swear, you're gonna have a good time. So listen to these tips think everything out and bring on this wonderful holiday season because it's gonna be a great one that's all I got for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed and of course do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a video I try to post a video every Sunday try keyword and yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys next time bye